Hey YouTube, Zero Gear Plus here, in the flesh. Um, I remember, if I do believe, um, a while back I told you guys that I'd be doing, alongside my, um, my video game walkthroughs, that um, I'd also be doing some sword demos. And um, when I told you this, it was kind of late February, early March. Not when the weather was very nice. It's mid-June now, and the weather's starting to get really nice. So I figured I'd uh, give you guys some sword demos finally. I think I've been um, torturing you guys by making you guys wait long enough as it is. So as long as the weather's nice, um, um, whether it be sunny outside, I'd prefer for it to be a little bit cloudy myself, but that's just me. Um, and just a tiny bit of rain. I'm not going to be out when it's pouring out or when there's a thunderstorm, but um, just to let you know, this is a precaution, that I will not be using real swords. In fact, I have one sword, and it's a replica, so, so it's technically not real, but it is made of metal, so that's kind of a treat for you guys. Um, while I'm here, why don't we meet the family, shall we? Okay. Um, here we go. There he is. Oh, actually, he's over here. Hold on. Okay. This, these are all makeshift weapons except for the guy over there I'll be showing you last. This is, this is a dirk or a dagger, depending on how you look at it. Um, just basically a knife, nothing more. It's wooden dowel rod and electrical tape all the way. Yeah, talk about makeshift. This kind of the same thing, it's a little bit longer. This is what they call a main gouche. This is used with a uh, French or Spanish rapier. Um, it's um, dual hand combat. And um, I'll be showing you the rapier right now. This is my rapier. This is also, oh, along with this, they're all um, Wundell rod electrical tape. Oh, the, um, the rapier, um, good solo, even better with the main gouche. So that's kind of how it's used. I'll be using them both interchangeably. Um, I out some videos I might just use the gauche, others just the rapier. Sometimes maybe both. I don't know. We'll worry about it when we get there. But now we start getting into the good ones. This is my katana. A little bit short to be a real katana. I consider it a kadachi myself, which is a basically a generically shorter katana. So, without further ado, now this one I didn't make myself. This I actually bought online, and um, it's just a basic broadsword, made of wood, and it'll serve my purposes for what I want to show you guys. Yeah, I make it look a little bit longer than it actually is. Just, yeah, it's not that long, actually, it's, um, it's roughly about three feet from, and from the end of the pommel to the tip of the sword. Roughly about three feet, so. And that's all for my makeshift weapons, and over here... Uh, ah, okay. We have my claymore. Now, some of this might, might, some of you might find this very familiar. This is um, Connor McLeod's weapon, his claymore from the um, 1986 Highlander film. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I've um, in some places, like um, in Soul Blazer, for instance, I named my main character Connor. That's my first name. This is where I got my first name, the 1986 Highlander film. So this is technically my sword, think of it how you want to think about it, but this is a really cool sword nonetheless. It's a two-handed sword, and I'll probably be using it quite often. So, that's all for, um, that's all for me. I'm probably going to start filming really, I'll probably even start now, or a couple episodes different from, just disregard that last thing I said there. But as long as the weather's nice, or just a tiny bit cloudy, I'll probably be outside, so... Expect to see me um, post some videos quite a bit. So, have a nice day.